we're gonna be taking down the Japanese barberry. So all you will need is gonna be some gloves because this has some spiky things, so you don't wanna get. And then also the clippers and your trouble. Japanese barberry is a highly recommended shrub in many nurseries due to their burgundy color, low maintenance, and because deers do not like it. Deers do not like it because it has the spiky thorns. This also creates a problem because then deers end up eating all our native plants and we end up with a whole propagation of more of the Japanese barberry. Japanese barberry has been considered an invasive plant and it's very easily to propagate. You might see it whenever you're going to a park, hiking, and you don't even know that you are amongst all the Japanese barberry because whenever it has spread from an original plant, it usually spreads in a color completely green. So you don't see it with that burgundy color that is so peculiar for landscaping. But the problem is that these shrubs attract the black leg tick also known as isot scapularis. This tick carries the Lyme disease causing spirochet, Borrelia burdoferi, and this can lead to an increased risk of Lyme disease. We see this kind of ticks everywhere. We know that when we go hiking or we're outside, we have a risk of having ticks. But the problem is that with this kind of shrub, you're not just getting a little bit of ticks. The risk of having ticks in here is multiplied by many, many, many times. And it's all because the foliage of this plant has a high humidity, which is perfect environment for the ticks. As a first time homeowner and a newbie to many plants for landscaping, when I saw this plant, I immediately loved the color. I mean, what's not to love? The foliage is beautiful, it has everything that calls to it, it has these tiny little yellow flowers that are so beautiful, it's very low maintenance, and then you don't have to worry that deers are going to be coming into your house because the spiky thorns does not allow, allow them to go there. But as always, I like to read and learn about the things that surround me. And when I saw the correlation between the shrub and Lyme disease, I immediately said, this has to go. If you ever have met somebody with Lyme disease, you know this is a plant that definitely should not be at your home. Lyme disease is a serious disease and you would not want to invite people over into your home with a shrub that is correlated with the disease. A summary of the Lyme disease is it's a disease that has three different stages. In the first stage, you barely even notice the symptoms, and it's called an early localized disease. Usually characterized by a rash, the erythema migrans, which can be there or it cannot be there, and just some flu-like symptoms. The stage two is the early disseminated disease. In here, it has already invaded the nerve system. So it can cause neurological symptoms like facial palsy, also arthritis, like migratory altralgia, and myocarditis affecting the heart. And in the stage three, it will be a late disease. In this stage, it will be chronic, leading to chronic arthritis and CNS involvement. This is a very serious disease, as we said. Just need to take out the trunk now and I think it's gonna be very easy with just a shovel. I just wanted to show you guys that the branch itself inside is all yellow, bright yellow. And as I said, I believe that you can use the bark um, for boiling it and getting um, the antibacterial, antioxidant, antifungal effects. So I'm gonna check that out and I'm gonna link it down below. There is the trunk. It took us at least half an hour to remove the whole bush 
and we still have this three in the side and two more on that side so five more to go but again we need to remove this from here if you want to have people over visitors pets all kinds of stuff you don't want to have this tree around you you know and then be liable and think that somebody got Lyme disease because of you so yes remove that from your yard should definitely take seriously having a nice landscaping with plants that will be beneficial to our family and not that will be harmful to our family. The plant is also considered an invasive plant as we said. Many nurseries and states have prohibited the sale of this plant and still you can see many other places that are still offering it. I still don't know why they're doing this and they say they don't, do not say a word to a customer of how daily this plant can be to your family and loved ones. The Japanese barberry also contains the alkaloid barberine, which has been linked with a lot of beneficial effects for anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, um, antibacteria, antifungal, all kinds of stuff. But we can also get this barberine from other trees as well. And other shrubs. I suggest to take the barbering from other plants that contain the same chemicals, like for example the Oregon grape, and to avoid cultivating this plant in your yard. Some of the side effects also from taking this barbering from the bark could be vomiting, nasal bleeding, nausea, low blood pressure, impaired breathing, low heart rate and convulsions. For the root system of the Japanese barberry is shallow and easy to pull. So I decided to pull mine today because it had been raining for the past two days. As you can see, I was in a roll. I was just pulling everything, completely rocking it out, and very fast, within I would say two and a half hours, we finished the whole thing of removal of the six different Japanese barberry in our property. 
just make sure to pull them if you're gonna be pulling it like me to pull it in a day that it has been bare the soil has been very smooth after a rainy day when they bloom and so gorgeous but then the more I read about it because I always like to read about everything that is surrounding me it's a learning process in here and the more I read about it and the more I saw articles and um, scientific magazines and news and people infected with Lyme disease and it has been proven that the tick is in here five times more than any other place even sometimes 12 times more and that it has been linked with an increase in Lyme disease I said why am I gonna have that in my yard when there's so many other shrubs that I can use in the landscaping of my house instead of risking it and having then something that can actually in increase the chances of having Lyme disease just remember when you're cutting you're gonna be cutting all the little branches leaving the thicker branches and then making a circle around the shrub with your shovel in order to remove the whole root system This shrub has been prohibited uh, for sale in many places, in many states. I don't understand why some nurseries are still selling this shrub. And if you were to go to a nursery and ask for an evergreen that deers do not eat it, it's gonna be, they're gonna recommend you this thing. They're gonna recommend you the Japanese barberry. But it is not the best decision there's many other evergreen shrubs that you can choose from i'll i'll give you an options in the uh, either in the video in here attaching the video or in the link below but something like this that repels deers but attracts rats attracts spiders and especially has an increase of ticks because they do like the humidity underneath the tree. The tree keeps the humidity very well. And now in summer is when they start increasing, so I'm gonna get rid of this immediately. In the last picture, you can see that I also was so energetic and I did not record this part. And I removed the little holly tree that we had in the middle and switch, dig out that holly tree, switch it and put it in the in front of the window in front of our garage. And now we have in the middle where the holly was a little table. We still have lots of more projects to do we're gonna be cleaning all of this from the weeds and all the floor, putting then rocks for maintenance and landscaping, and then the flower bed in the front that we have been digging as well, we're gonna be um, covering with rocks in the future and more flowers. Well, 
we are done thank you for watching our channel thank you for being part of our community thank you for being all so awesome you have a wonderful day and god bless you all and subscribe to our channel like our channel over here and have an awesome day guys bye